Hey everybody, good evening and welcome back to Double Barrel Podcast, Single Barrel Blast. This is the Memorial Weekend Special. And first off, here at Double Barrel Podcast, myself, my wife, and Justin, we would all like to thank all of the fallen soldiers who gave their all to protect our nation, our freedom, our rights. So to all of you out there, all the fallen soldiers, all the family of the fallen soldiers, we say thank you. We're going to have a moment. Let's have a moment of silence here for those fallen soldiers, and then we'll get into the episode so. All right. Thank you guys for joining us in a moment of silence for the fallen soldiers. Now, let's have some fun here. In honor of Memorial Day, my wife has actually flown out here to be with me for the next week. And we decided to do a blind taste testing. These are the five bourbons. I have four glasses here. We're gonna see how good my palate really is. Now, what's interesting to me though is we have Boulder in the mix. And you guys know me, Boulder's in my top five. Let's see who reigns supreme. Now, Alicia picked these. We're going to start number one, work our way to number four here, all right? Cheers, ladies and gentlemen. All right, first off, just by looking at this one, I almost feel like this one is Old Elk. Mm. That one's the heart. And here's why. Heart gives these really floral caramel notes, but they also tie back into the oak notes, but there's really no smoke involved with the normal heart distillery. There's not a lot of smoke involved in it. It's definitely more of a floral bourbon. Like, it's almost like a Four Roses, but I think it's a better version of what Four Roses tried to do. Okay, that's a weeded bourbon, that's Old Elk. And the reason why I'm saying that is Old Elk is, I'm gonna say it's Old Elk. Old Elk is a very, it's like a three trick pony. You get caramel, vanilla, oak in there, and then you get the wheat notes. It's not that heavily of a it's it's not a very complex bourbon, however, though, it is a beautiful bourbon, and it is definitely a staple in the bar down in the Tombstone Tavern back at the, back in Utah. Okay. Okay, that's a Joseph Magnus. Here's why. Joseph Magnus has a very complex depth to him. There is a profound dominance of beautiful sherry cast, plum notes, oak smoke, spice notes, and that is 100%. I, I truly believe the Joseph Magnus. Pretty sure that's my boulder. All right. Here's the thing. Beautiful dark chocolate, nut notes, nut bread coming in on that one. That's a great bourbon right there. Definitely. Okay. messing with me here a little bit here folks I got to pick a winner though Number three is my favorite. I'm going with number three is my favorite. 
My second favorite is number two. My least favorite is number four. Third is number one. Why do you think I did? Scale of one to ten. Read the papers. All right, she said read the papers, folks. Let's read the papers. Ha! <laughs> the Heart Distillery. I knew it. I knew my hunch was right. The Heart Distillery. Okay, the heart was number three. Number two, let's see what we got here. Joseph Magnus. All right, Joseph Magnus came in second. Joseph Magnus is a very, here's the thing with Joseph Magnus. It's a bourbon that you drink neat and you drink alone. Well, not alone, but you drink, you don't have any other bourbons with it because it's such a deep, rich, complex bourbon that I feel like it. If you mix it with anything, it gets really hard to detect its notes. All right, number three. This is my favorite. Holy crap. Old Elk was my favorite. That's impressive. Okay. Old Elk won. <sighs> number four. Okay. I call bull crap on this. I call full bull crap on this. Number four was Boulder. I thought you pulled a fast one on me. Wow. Boulder, I did discover the, the very deep, deep, rich chocolate notes that the Boulder is known for and the nut bread. And it could be that... Hmm. Okay. See, this is why I love doing these is because Boulder's in my top five. It really is. It's a beautiful bourbon. See, right now, and it could be just the way I am right now, but I'm getting very predominantly overpowering allspice notes out of it. I've never gotten that before out of the boulder, ever. Anyway, folks, Old Elk, crowned the champion of the Memorial Day blind taste testing from my wife, Joseph Magnus, close runner-up, Heart Distillery in third, and... I feel like I'm the problem right now. Why my buddy Boulder did not finish better than this. Anyway, folks, always remember, never drink a drive, never mix your guns and alcohol. And again, from us here at Double Barrel Podcast, Alicia, who is our CEO and chairman. See, she's waving at you guys. Justin, who is my best friend in the world, and myself, Chris. We want to thank all of the fallen soldiers for all of their sacrifice, all gave some, some gave all. And to the some that gave all, we thank you for everything you did and everything you've done because freedom isn't free. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and we'll see you back here next time on Double Barrel Podcast, Single Barrel Blast. Y'all stay safe out there. Have a great night.